We begin on this Wednesday in Yemen, where al-Qaeda's top commander is now claiming responsibility for the Charlie Hebdo attacks one week ago in Paris. Welcome to Happening Now. I'm John Scott. Hi, everybody. I'm Jenna Lee. And the claims from al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula come as new installments. A new installment of the Inspire magazine goes online today. The terror group calling for more lone wolf attacks on western airports with quote, invisible bombs. This is prompting Homeland Security to add extra precautions, including random checks once passengers are already past security. But one big triumph against al-Qaeda, today's new edition of Charlie Hebdo was on newsstands. Three million copies sold out almost immediately as French journalists defy the terrorists who tried to silence them. Or Rick Leventhal is live in Paris with more on this. And Rick, really, the, the paper flew off the shelves. It really did, Jenna. You know, Charlie Hebdo's normal circulation is 60,000, and they usually only sell about half of them. In fact, the paper was nearly bankrupt. And then today, before dawn, you had people lining up who'd never bought it before, uh, waiting outside of newsstands and kiosks, even leaving their names and numbers on waiting lists, hoping to get a reprint of the weekly, which costs three euros, or roughly four dollars U.S. The cover art of the Prophet Muhammad with a tear in his eye holding a Je suis Charlie sign, I am Charlie, and the caption, all is forgiven, is of course controversial since the terrorists said they targeted that paper staff because of previous cartoons lampooning Muhammad. And as you mentioned, three million copies sold, sold out in a couple of hours. Now they're saying they'll print at least two million copies more. But even as this country embraces freedom of expression, the French government is cracking down on hate speech, detaining 54 people who supported the terror attacks in public or online. France has very strong laws against hate speech and anti-Semitism. These are anti-terror laws, and there are also special me measures for immediate sentencing. So a number of people have already been locked up for saying things like, there should be more Kawachi brothers. Jenna? Interesting. All right. So that's one thing that the French government is doing. We also have another headline coming from the French government about a perhaps new role in the war on terror. What did they announce today? Why is that significant? Well, you know, yesterday the French government voted 488 to 1 to extend the airstrikes against ISIS. And today the French president boarded the Charles de Gaulle aircraft carrier to announce that it will head to the Persian Gulf to work more closely with the U.S.-led coalition against the Islamic State, saying the situation justifies the presence of our aircraft carriers. So the French stepping up its military involvement in the war against ISIS in Iraq and Syria. Meanwhile, the search continues for at least six members, or up to six members of that terror cell involved in last week's attacks, Jenna. No word on any new arrests tonight. Interesting. Rick, great to see you in Paris. Thank you very much.